<risa> Stay at home. Está bien. Stay good evening, home. teacher. So, good evening. Good I'm evening, already teacher. here, okay? I'm here already. Hi, class. Hello, teacher. Hey, very poncho. Hey. Agradezco mucho la puntualidad. Muy bien, aquí estamos. And we are ready. Teacher, Dígame. investigó lo de los mensajes subliminales que nos mandaron. No, you know I haven't. No, porque hasta ahorita vi los, los, los mensajes. mensajes subliminales. Dice, come on, no son subliminales. <risa> no, lo que sucede es que no, a nosotros nos den interrogante porque no sabemos si nos, nos piden que nos inscribamos al, al no, lo, lo que pasa es que hubo un problema con el sistema, supongo yo, pero yo hablé con alguien de inglés corporativo y dijo, oh, no, haga caso omiso si usted ya realizó este trámite. Entonces Bien. es para todos. Pienso de que si ya enviaron toda la documentación y ya se la aceptaron, sí. entonces creo que no es necesario volverlo a hacer. Exacto, y por eso le consulté quién le envió esta información, pero sí veo que es oficial, bueno, es la foto de Jason. Right. Jason, Jason Bautista. Jason Bautista, and he's in charge Yo of la recibí room. de Cibrián. Cibrián. Sí. Y ahí le mandé el número del que. Del que yes. Yo pensé que ya nos estaban pasando al siguiente nivel. Dije, yeah, wow. No, 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 no. Re sí, igual, yo pensé que para el módulo 4 nos están enviando. Oh, okay. yo, dije, no. yo dije, o sea, nos ven okay, tan wait. inteligentes yeah. que ya nos mandaron el no, módulo. Wait, wait. Let me ask, I guess, eh, Flor, Flor Sánchez, creo que está por aquí. No sé si ya nos puede aclarar, tal vez este detallito. Sí, Ay, hola, Flor. buenas noches. Hola, este, hola. Sí, es que me estaban consultando, les enviaron, creo que nuevamente la información eh, que ellos tenían que llenar. Eh, Let me read. La ficha, la, la ficha, ficha de nuevamente, la ficha de inscripción nuevamente. Oh, sí, eh, Jason Bautista hizo unas notificaciones porque algunos participantes se habían quedado así fuera del programa debido a que no enviaron los documentos completos. De hecho, para armar este grupo, sí tocó que desarmar otros grupos. Por eso hay varios que se quedaron fuera. Al momento de estar notificando, se filtró por error los números de algunos de los participantes y le ha, le, se les ha caído la notificación. Igual ya se les mencionó a algunos que pueden hacer caso omiso a la información que se les envió. Entonces, ¿sí hay que llenarlo o no? No, no, no hay que llenarlo. Ok, bien. Entonces, ahí está clase de respuesta. Don't worry. And thank you. Muchas gracias. Siempre hay que consultar. Siempre hay que consultar. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Para estar seguros de que nuestra información también esté segura. De eso no duden, ¿ok? Su información está segura con... Eh, con esa parte, ok? So, class, here we go. We are ready to start with this class. Class number, what number is this one? Class number one, two, three. Fourth. Fourth. Class number four, excellent. Class number four. So, yesterday, what was the topic from yesterday? Uh, ok, Anne Stefan, don't worry. ¿Qué estábamos viendo ayer? Veamos. Uh, what do you remember? The body, body, the part of ah, the body. Parts of the body, exactly. We were practicing vocabulary, vocabulary yeah. related to parts of the body. And, you know, I was um, showing you my book. Déjenme buscar mi libro otra vez. Because if you go to the platform, we have like some del cuerpo. Parts. Exactly. It's not that complete as the vocabulary that I have in my book. You know, yes. it's the same. Tenemos el mismo libro. Es el mismo libro, solo que yes. la versión que yo estoy utilizando es más actualizada y más interactiva. So don't worry. Let okay. me go to my book. Teacher, ¿no va a pasar lista? Sí, claro. Solo hacemos el repaso primero y luego nos vamos con la lista. Here we go. Parts of the body. So, section number two. Let's have just the listening so you can remember about the vocabulary because we are going to have the first activity related to this one. There we go. Okay, let's listen. Um, Ana Stephanie and Maria Lucila. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. You're having problems with your camera. How about the rest? Josue, Pablo and the rest of the classmates who don't have your camera on. Cameras on, please. 
Very good. Now I can see you. Excellent. Thank you. Please, cameras on all the time. Here we go. Let's listen so we can remember about the correct pronunciation. Here we go. Unit 12. How do you feel? Page 78. Exercise 1. Word power. Parts okay. of the body. Parts of the body. Part A. Listen and practice. Here we go. I. Hair. Head. Ear. Neck. Tooth. Teeth. Chin. Throat. Mouth. Nose. Eyebrow. Back. Shoulder. Chest. Arm. Stomach. Hip. Wrist. Leg. Knee. Ankle. Toe. Toes. Foot. Feet. Elbow. Finger. Fingers. Thumb. Hand. Okay, very good. So this is the vocabulary. Any word from the vocabulary that you want me to repeat so you can listen and practice the correct pronunciation. Any difficult word from the vocabulary. Or is the vocabulary clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay, it's clear. So right now, do you have your English notebook? Open it because we're going to work in an activity right now. But before we move to that activity, we're going to check the attendance list. Okay, so be ready to say here or present. Okay. Today is May 5th. Wow, time flies. Mayo 5, que rápido. Here we go. Okay. Okay, Aleli Concepcion. I'm here. Ana Stephanie. Present. Okay. Cesar Alexander. I am here, teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present. Fernando Arturo. I'm here. Gerson Vladimir. Is Gerson in the class? Yeah. Okay, very good. Gladys Elizabeth. I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Iris Elena. Here, Miss. Irma Raquel. Present. Okay. Jessica Marielos. Present teacher. Josué Neftali. I'm here. Okay. Kimberly Janet. Maria Lucila. I'm here. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Present. Nurian Karina. Present teacher. Pablo Reyes. 
Presente, teacher. Excelente. Rebeca Eunice. Present. Rosemary Beatriz. I'm here. Roxana Beatriz. I'm here. Sonia Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Okay, Jessica Marilu. It's me, teacher. And Zaira Jamilet. <laughs> Present. Very good. So let's continue. Thank you so much. Let's continue. So I was telling you, if you remember from yesterday's video, they were asking us to do an activity. You know, we are going to express uh, different sentences with the parts of the body. So let me take you to the platform right now so you can remember about the instructions. Take a look at the instruction. What are we going to do? We are going to write sentences. So here we go. Let me see. This is the platform. Aquí vamos. Parts of the body and just at the end, al final nos da una indicación about the activity that we are going to develop in this class. Let's listen again. Finger. Here. Toes. Okay, here we go. Make sure that you memorize this vocabulary. An easy way to do this is by pointing to your head and expressing this is my head. Then pointing to your arm and saying, this is my arm. Remember, the goal is to learn this vocabulary. So do this until you have learned all the vocabulary words. Okay, what is the easiest way to remember the vocabulary? Pointing and saying, this is, this is my head, these are my eyes. Singular and plural. Because if you notice, we have vocabulary that we are going to use in a singular way and sometimes in plural. For example, si queremos utilizar la palabra fingers, are we going to say this is my fingers or these are my fingers? What do you think? This is and these are. What is the meaning of this? ¿Qué significa esto? This is, these are. Este es, estos son. Este es, estos son. Estos son, muy bien. Entonces, si yo tengo, if I have fingers in plural, what am I going to use? This is or these are? These are. Oh, these are. These are my fingers because we're talking about our fingers okay so this is the correct sentence how about if i have this one hip is this singular or plural singular singular so what am i going to use these are or this is this is this is, this is. So this, this is my hip. But look, I already have two sentences. So what do I need you to do? I need you to go talk to your classmates, work together, and you are going to write five sentences each. You are going to write five, your classmate is going to write another five sentences. What are you going to use? This is and this are. Okay, let me do something. Let me switch. Cambiemos la indicación. Four sentences. Cuatro oraciones. Dos con this is and two sentences with, with this are. 
está clara la indicación. How many sentences do I need you to write? How many Cuatro. sentences? Four. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? Dos con this is and dos con these are. You can use any part of the vocabulary related to parts of the body, okay? So, I'm going to share this picture with you. Se las comparto para que ustedes vayan y trabajen en grupos. Escribamos, this is, these are. Identifiquen cuáles son singulares y cuáles son plural. Is it clear? ¿Está la actividad clara? Yes, teacher, no. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Very good. Yes, teacher. Yes, miss. How much time you are going to have? Five minutes. I know you can do it in five minutes, okay? Then we come back and you are going to read your sentences. So here we go. Let me send you this. Okay, you can go to WhatsApp and check. Very good. <clears throat> See, so tell me, how, how was your day? Mientras se las envío, ¿cómo estuvo su día? How was your day class? Was it good? Bad? It's good. Good. Boring. Boring, why? Very hot. Terrific. Oh, okay. Terrific. <laughs> Do you know what is the meaning of terrific? ¿Qué es terrific? Yes, I am. What is that? Is that um, positive or terrific. negative? Terrific. It's the opposite of terrible, of terrible. Exactly. Terrific. I like terrific days. Very stressant. Really a stressful day. Okay. Do you see the picture? Stressful day. Oh, no. Yeah, for me, the same. No, I, I really, can't see anything. Really hard day. You know, let me tell you, saben, tengo un grupo de teachers también, estoy unida a un grupo de teachers que tiene la misma foto que su grupo. A veces envío la foto de ese grupo y yo, no, 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 no. Por eso les pregunto, ¿la vieron ya en WhatsApp? ¿Sí o no? Yes. yes. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. That's the one. Ese es el grupo. Sí, está de... compartida ya, ya la tenemos. Excellent. Yes. So let's go to work. Let's go and work right now. Let's work in groups of three or in pairs. Vamos a ver. Ok, go. Go, please. Now. Excellent. Okay, I'm just missing Gerson and Rebecca. How about Walter? What happened, Gerson? Did you have problems? Harrison, Walter, and Rebecca, did you have problems to join your group? Tuvieron problemas para unirse a su grupo, chicos. Yes, no?
Okay, don't forget to work in pairs. Please, work in pairs. So, where is Jessica? Hi, Jessica, where are you? Hola, hello, teacher. Hello, hello, don't forget, you need to work in pairs. Trabajen en parejas, okay? So you can talk to your classmate, practice your English, okay? And the vocabulary. Okay. Okay. Bye. Hello, Harrison, did you have problems? Okay, I'm just missing Walter. How about Walter? Did you have problems, Walter? <laughs> wow, that was really fast. Are you sure? Sí. Yes, Rica, estamos, you tra estamos tratando de conversar <laughs> aquí eh, un poco. <laughs> In English, no Spanish. In mm. I, sorry, no, teacher. No, this is the English class. Sorry. No, this is sorry. The class. sorry okay. <laughs> so don't worry. I'm going to visit some other classmates. Don't worry. I'm leaving right now. No, no cuesta un poco todavía. <laughs> no, 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 Don't be afraid. Try to practice. Todos estamos en el mismo nivel. No les dé pena equivocarse. Eso All es right. lo que deben so, Excellent. All right. So All continue, right. please. Continue. <laughs> yeah. This. Este dice. Estos. Ok. In my case, bueno, pero, be... que, pero es que el, el 2 se usa cuando el asunto está allá. Esos. Uh -huh. Ajá, esos. Uh -huh. For example, this, this is my left hand. Dos. No, no, pero ahí okay. no, no, no pega porque como están, son mis dedos. Mis, mis... Yes. Entonces no, no, entonces no sería this ahí. This is my left hand, left hand. So mm -hmm. this is my hand, mm -hmm. this is my hand. Mm -hmm. This is my left hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. okay. This, this is my chin, mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. This is my chin, mm -hmm. this is my throat. This. ¿Qué va a decir usted? Mm, vaya, quiero ver. Si gusta usted diga la de... La de ¿Cuál me va a pedir solo la de la nariz? ¿Y cuál fue la otra que hice? Este... Nariz. Y la otra es... Ahí, ajá. Eh. Entonces ahí en singular, por ejemplo, sería This is my nose, ¿verdad? Porque solo es una nariz, ¿verdad? Exacto. Imposible, imposible que tenga dos narices, ¿verdad? Solo que sea mutante. Ajá, exactamente. Teacher, hablábamos sobre la diferencia en la pronunciación del singular y el plural, que es muy, es bien mínima la diferencia. Yes, it is. For si example, queremos... singular is this. Es que se parece, tiene razón, this, this, un poquito más larga que this, uh -huh. this. Ya, yeah, suena so igual, but don't worry, la diferencia la hace casi siempre el contexto, singular y plural, ok? This is my nose, this are my feet, my feet, my eyes, plural, ok? So, yeah, don't worry. 
Se, se sobreentiende luego, ¿verdad? Se sobreentiende luego. Uh -huh. So that's it. So did you finish? Yes. yes. Very good. So it's time to come back. Let's go back to the main room right now. Okay. There we go. Yes. Okay, okay. Time to come back right now. Let's wait for your oh my, Oh my God, decía yo. Oh, estoy. Oh, oh estoy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Solo nosotros aquí pensemos que a ver qué onda. <laughs> no, no, no. Your classmates are coming right now in 60 seconds or less. They are, okay, right. they are coming right now. Don't worry, Cesar. We are here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Where is the teacher and my classmates, you said? <laughs> no, you're here. Don't worry. <laughs> so, I guess it was enough time for you to practice, okay? The idea is, okay, teacher, I already have four sentences. Ya tengo cuatro oraciones. But don't worry, keep on practicing. Haga diez oraciones, hago quince oraciones. Okay, so that is the goal. So keep on practicing. Okay, and try to use the vocabulary and the instructions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tell me, Aleli. No, es, es, también estábamos hablando con mi compañera de que habían otras partes del cuerpo y estuvimos viendo de que, por ejemplo, una singular era la... ¿Dónde está aquí? La tongue, la tongue que es un singular. Your y estábamos hablando de tongue, ajá. Estábamos hablando de, de otras partes también ahí. Por ejemplo... Oh, <laughs> se va, yes, se va a reír. No, 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 <laughs> belly, belly button. Ah, your belly button. Exactly. Sí, Do you know, Clark, what is that? Oh. What is that, class? Belly button. ¿Qué es eso? Ombligo. Ombligo, exactly. Ombligo, ajá. Uh -huh. También batok. Okay. O la bat, o la bat. <laughs> y estábamos hablando de la diferencia que estábamos, estábamos viendo de que era tobillo. Y me decía que ella pensaba que era um, la otra talón. palabra. Talón. No, el talón. Exacto. Ahí está, Marina. Entonces ah, estábamos okay. viendo la diferencia que era ankle. Talón con tobillo era diferente. Yes, it is. As I mentioned, you know, there are so many other parts of the body, but we don't have the whole vocabulary in, you know, in that picture. So if you see, if you go and compare the platform, you have some words from the vocabulary. If you compare with these pictures that I sent, we have another type of vocabulary, but no, we still have a lot of parts of the body, but we, we don't have there. So what is your role? Go and check. Excellent job, Aleli and Marina del Carmen. Excellent. Están chequeando más vocabulario. No, este no es solo el vocabulario. Vayan y... Eh, Amplian su vocabulario. So, very good job. And you know, I was talking to Nelson, right? And Elvis, I guess. La pronunciación, you know, is very similar. Singular and plural. This and this. It's so similar. Singular, this. Plural, this. So, what is going to help us identify if I'm talking about singular or plural? Just the context. In this case, the vocabulary. For example, if I say, these are my eyes. Ustedes ya saben cuál estoy pronunciando, si this or this. Aunque suenen igual. Pero si yo digo are, you already know that this is plural, okay? So it's just the context. So let me listen to your sentences. Do I have volunteers? Raise your hand if you want to participate. Let me see, how many volunteers? One volunteer, two, three, four, five <laughs> volunteers. At least 10, I need 10 volunteers right now, six. I'm missing four, four more. Five, I had six, seven, very good, seven participants. I'm missing three more, okay. Seven, that's okay. I'm going to pick three of you at the end of these seven volunteers. Let's start with Aleli. Read, please. Read your sentences. Okay. 
This is my back. This is my hair. This is, is my lips. This is my arm. Okay, are all of them singular or plural? And two. Two and two. Can you repeat the ones for plural? The plural. This is my lips. Okay. This, this is my lips. Okay. Because I can hear, no sé si ustedes, yo escucho this is, remember the structure. These are my. These are, okay, uh -huh. okay, okay. Yes, I oh. was like, this is my lips. No, are. no. these are. are. Okay. okay. So can this, you repeat that? This is are my lips. Okay. This is right. are my arms. Excellent. Okay. Now it's okay. Very good. Thank you. Very good job. Elvis, continue, please. This is my head. This is my throat. These are my arms. These are my eyes. Excellent pronunciation. Wilson, can you continue, please? <clears throat> these are my eyes this is my leg these are my ears okay and this is my mouth my mouth excellent excellent very good job and great sentences cesar go ahead please this is my leg this is my health these are my feet. These are my eyes. Eyes, very good job. Excellent job. Fernando, please. And then it is Elena. Okay. This is my back. This is my arm. Uh, these are my lungs. These are my shoulders. Excellent, excellent. Lungs. Do you know the meaning of lungs, class? Lungs. L-U-N-G-S. Yeah. Who else? ¿Quién más sabe? Aparte de Fernando, ¿qué es eso? Lungs. No? Pulmones. Pulmones. Oh, the ones that help you breathe. Right, Fernando? Pulmones, right? Yeah. Excellent. Vemos, más vocabulario. Perfecto. Excellent job, Fernando. It is Elena. Go ahead, please. I want to listen to your sentence. Okay. This is my head and this is my mouth. These are my eyes and these are my teeth. Excellent. Excellent. Very good job and great pronunciation. Thank you. You're welcome. Who's next? Gladys, please. Yes, this ear, ear, is no, this are, ears, ears, this are, it. Okay. Just let's repeat that, please. My, ocupemos my, míos, these are my, this is Mine. Go ahead, please. One more time. This is my ear. This is my nose. Excellent. These are my eyes. These are my teeth. Excellent. Now it's okay. My eyes and my teeth. Excellent. Walter. Josué, and then Maria Lucia. Go. Me? Yes. Okay. This is my chin, by the way. Um, this is my throat. <clears throat> these are my hands. And these, let me... A sec. Is my are my eyebrow? These are my eyebrow. Wow! Excellent pronunciation. Excellent. 
Excellent. This is my classes. These Excellent are my classes. classes, right? Excellent pronunciation. I really like it. Suena Thank muy you. bonito en inglés, Walter. Excellent. Josué, please. Hey, um, this is my back. This is my nose. Okay. These are my finger, fingers. Mm. These are my feet. These are my feet. Excellent. Fingers and feet. Excellent fingers. job, Jose. And Maria, are you ready to participate? This is my breath. This is my nose. Okay. These are my knees. These are my legs. These are my legs. Excellent job. Excellent. So now that you have your sentences, you can easily go to the platform. Let me show you the platform and you can participate in the forum. Remember, there are some videos in which we are going to participate in the forum, in discussion forum. Si se fijan, siempre hay un foro de discusión. Entonces, ustedes pueden postear sus oraciones. How do you do it? You click on here, add a post, and then you are going to add, in this case, your sentences. But remember, you need to add a title. ¿Cuál sería el título? Parts of the body. And then you have right here, this is my head. And you write your sentences there. After that, you're going to participate. So you can read your classmates sentences. And at the same time, you can, you know, interact with this discussion forum. So, esa es la idea para el discussion forum. Tómense un tiempo luego y las posteamos acá. Is it clear? Yes, no? Yes, it is. Yes, it yes, is. It Excellent. Is. So Clear. now let's move on. You know, this is a very nice topic. What is the topic? Dice el objetivo. By the end of this class, you will learn how to use have, noun, and feel, and adjective to express health problems. Mm, me siento enfermo. How do I do it? Look at this one. Well, this is a conversation about this guy who's feeling homesick. Let's listen to it so then we can participate about this one. No hay audio. Teacher, no la oigo. Pensé que, pensé que era mi internet. Don't listen. No, pero no. Don't listen. And you don't tell me before. Can't no listen. listen. No listen. I can't listen. How can't. about now? I can't listen into a conversation listen. title. How about now? I feel homesick. I feel homesick. Okay. Oh, yes. Hey, Kenichi. How are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Now let's take a look at the examples on this chart. Okay. Have plus noun. Feel plus adjective. What's the matter? What's wrong? I have a headache. I have a backache. I have the flu. How are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. 
I don't feel well. Negative adjectives. Sick. Awful. Terrible. Miserable. Positive adjectives. Fine. Great. Terrific. Fantastic. Okay, so let's go to a presentation that I have. How do you feel? Do you feel okay today? No, teacher. I don't feel okay today. So what's the matter? What is the problem? I feel. So look at this picture. How do you feel? How are you? What's the matter? What's wrong? So in a conversation, if we want to ask people about the way they feel, we are going to start with these two questions. And this is the most common. How are you? If you notice, everybody is always asking this question. How are you? Or we can also say, hey, how do you feel? How do you feel today? And you can have this type of expressions as an answer. I feel sick. Um, I feel better. I don't feel well. So what are we going to ask after this? Después de estas respuestas, I feel sick, I feel better, I don't feel well. Oh, we need more information. Necesitamos más información. Entonces ya paso a preguntar, what's the matter? What's wrong? Oh, so now people is going to give us some extra information. For example, I have a stomach. I have a headache. I have the flu. Okay, so let me repeat this information. We are going to ask this one first. People is going to reply. And if we need to know a little bit more about people and what's going on, si queremos saber qué más le pasa a la gente, ¿qué preguntamos? What's the matter? ¿Qué sucede? What's wrong? ¿Qué está mal? ¿Qué está mal contigo? I have a headache. I have a stomachache. I have the flu. Take a look at this word. Ache. Ache. Suena ache. Y si se fijan, significa dolor. Casi todas nuestras palabras están formadas por esta combinación. Back, espalda, y luego decimos ache. Dolor de espalda. Back, cake. Ear. And then we have ache, dolor de oído. Head, cabeza, ache, headache, dolor de cabeza. Stomach, ache, stomach ache, dolor de estómago, ¿ok? ¿Ya ven cómo se construyen las palabras? Yes. Let me ask you, thought plus ache. Toothache. ¿Qué sería esta? What is this one? Dolor de dientes. Dolor de dientes. Ah. Y también tenemos, miren otras, que las construimos diferente. A cold. What is this one? I have a cold. What is this? Resfriado. Un resfriado. And I have a cough. Cold. Dos. Cough. Dos. Dos. And you know, apart from having a cold and a cough, I have a fever. Fiebre. Fiebre. Oh, yo creo que tengo. I got the flu. Un resfriado. Un resfriado, because I also have a sore throat. Dolor de garganta? Exactly. So you see, these are different aches. ¿Cómo te sientes? No. I have. So, we are going to 
use this expression. I have. Plus, Teacher. tell me. Eh, ¿Qué dijo que significaba the flu? Gripe. Gripe, gripe, gripe. Ah, gripe. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cómo flu. hago mi oración? Okay. Sí, mi oración va a ir. I have, yo tengo. Y luego decimos lo que sentimos. En este caso, I have a backache, a earache, a headache, and so on. Tell me, Pablo. Teacher, eh, usted dijo primero a cold, resfriado, ¿verdad? Cough, no, cough. Ah, la primera, sí, a, cold, sí. A cold. Es resfriado. Y luego dijo, y luego dijo cough. otra vez, cough. de flu, y dijo resfriado otra e gripe, vez. Es gripe, es gripe. Flu de flu gripe. gripe. Sí. Ok. De flu es gracias. gripe. Eh, muy bien, eso, muy bien, Pablo. Gracias por aclarar también para la clase. Excelente. So, how no do I make sentences? Yeah, tell me. Ahí no se podría decir I have a flu, no que tiene que ser I have the flu. The flu. The flu. Mm -hmm. Sí, como en las demás se dice uh, a cold. Ajá. Or... Uh -huh. Y yeah. en ese sería, Ahí sería the, flu. the flu. I have the flu. So, miren cómo construimos I have y luego lo que nos duele. Aquí tenemos el ejemplo. Miren, look. I have the flu. But we also, también podemos utilizar feel, me siento. I feel, me siento. Pero para esto necesitamos adjetivos. Aquí no vamos a utilizar los nombres. Backache, earache, headache, no. I feel and we can have. Negative adjectives and positive adjectives. How do you feel? I feel horrible. I feel awful. I feel terrible today. I feel miserable. Okay. Oh, I feel fine today, teacher. I feel great. Terrific and fantastic. So somebody was telling me, alguien me decía ahora, I feel terrific today. My day was terrific. So this is a positive adjective. What is the meaning of terrific? ¿Qué significa entonces terrific? Terrible. No, miren, es positivo. No estamos diciendo nada negativo, es positivo. So what is terrific? Es algo así como que muy bien, me parece. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Excelente o increíble, algo así. ¿Qué si yo les digo? I have a terrific class. Tengo una clase. I have a terrific class. ¿Qué creen que es? Fantástica. Fantástica. Ah, no van a decir, la teacher dijo que somos terribles. No. no Geniales. I have a terrific class because they participate. So, this is a positive adjective. Yo so, también pensé que significaba terrorífica. Really? No, no, no. So, ¿cómo decimos? Miren, podemos utilizar awful. Algo que es malo. Okay? Terrible. 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 Ahí está la palabra. Terrible. And miserable. Creo que estoy bien. Algo bien profundo. ¿verdad? Bien bajo. I feel miserable right. today. Miserable. Miserable. But you don't feel like that, right? Si les pregunto, mm -hmm. how do you feel today? ¿Cómo se sienten ahora? Quiero escucharlos. I feel. I feel. I feel. Great. Fine. I feel great. Excellent. Fine. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I, I feel um, fantastic. I feel fantastic. Wow. I, I feel, feel happy. very fantastic. I feel I fine. I feel fine. I feel tired. Tired. I feel great. Oh, I feel tired. Yes? Tired. Yes. Okay, so I feel. Oh, uh, now let's feel, let's sleep. I feel fun. I feel sleepy. I feel, I'm sorry? <laughs> sleep. I feel sleepy. Dream, dream or sleep? <laughs> no, it's sleepy. Así miren. Tengo sleep. sueño. Tengo sueño sería I feel sleepy. I feel I sleepy. Feel sleepy. Tengo sueño, yo sé. I feel it's no, a veces no, la no. It's, it's This is for example, for example. It's not, yes, it's not real. 
Ajá, es por ejemplo. Ajá, I feel asleep. No, pero así se dice. Podemos decirlo durante el día. You know, I feel sleepy today. Son las 7 de la mañana. I feel sleepy. I feel tired today. I feel miserable today. Okay, so adjectives and also you can use. Teacher. Tell me. Can I say, can I say I feel in happy? I feel in happy. I'm feeling happy no. today. Yes, I feel happy today. I feel. Okay, or I I'm feel. feeling. También me estoy sintiendo feliz. I am feeling happy today. So I'm going to share this information. I know that you have this information in your book. But I'm going to send this to WhatsApp. Ahí pueden tener esta información para que repasen. Y cuando yo les pregunte on Monday, how do you feel? No me digan fine. No, utilicemos otras expresiones. I feel great today. I feel happy today. Or I feel terrible today. So here we go. There you have the information. So you can practice. Let me see. If we go to the platform, remember for today you had your goal. Eh, era nuestra meta para ahora la sección número dos. Revisemos los ejercicios que deben completar. Hmm. Knowledge checked. Look at these ones. <clears throat> Where do these people hurt? Oh, what are you going to use? Vocabulary. You have a listening exercise. Van a identificar a donde les duele. Head, neck, throat. And then you have the second conversation. Miren? Let's identify. Very good. If you go to the next one, now let's check. Miren el siguiente. This one. Okay. Estas son recomendaciones. How do we do this one? Dejen mostrarles. Cuando nos sentimos enfermos, we give recommendations. Recomendamos a la gente. Cuando me duele la cabeza, ¿qué debería de hacer? What should I do? So, if you go, dejar el teléfono para empezar. Exacto, eso sí es cierto. So, let me show you some recommendations. Take a pill. Take a pill, very good. Look. Okay, you know, I have a headache. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Whenever I have a back cake, I apply muscle cream. Me rego o me aplico crema o relajante muscular, la llamamos. Okay. So these are common remedies. You also have this vocabulary in a video in the platform. And in that video, they explain how do we give recommendation to people. Let's go to the platform so you can check this information. Miren, aquí está. Este es el ejercicio. Common medication. Va a ser nuestro último ejercicio de este video. Common medications. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn the names of common medications for health problems. Sí. Let's okay. listen yes. and yes. practice. Let's common listen medications. Practice. There we go. Antacid. Ant. Muscle cream. Acid. Ant acid. Antiacido. Ant acid. Ant acid. Ant acid. Muy bien. Aspirin. 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 Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Cough para la tos. Cough syrup. Cough drops. Cough drops. Cough drops. Cough Cough drop. drops. Cold Cough pills. Drops. Cold 
peel. Cold peel. Eye drops. Eye drops. Okay. Let's repeat again so you can practice vocabulary. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn the names of Hi everyone. Oh. In this class you'll learn the names of common medications okay, for common medication. health problems. There we go. Let's listen and practice. Common medications. There we go. Antacid. Antacid. Muscle Antacid. cream. Aspirin. Muscle cream. Aspirin. Cough syrup. Cough, Cough drops. Syrup. Cups Cold rock. pills. Cold Eye pills. drops. Now, Eye drops. I would like for you to describe what you take whenever you have a headache. For example, whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Mm -hmm, excellent. Whenever I have a cold, I take Give as many examples as you can. Look at the vocabulary from our previous lesson and describe what you take for each illness. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Very good. Whenever I, cuando yo, whenever I, or siempre que, siempre que tengo un dolor de cabeza, tomo una aspirina in English. Whenever I have a headache, I take aspirin. Let's go. Whenever I have a flu, ¿qué harían ustedes? Whenever I have a flu, ¿qué tomarían? I, I take uh, cold drops. Okay. Cuando tengo gripe, I take cough. Cold pills. Cold pills. Okay, cold pills mejor. Cold. Cold pills en el... No, 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 come on. Pee. Pee also no. Ah, perdón. Go feel. No, no, no. Okay. Go feel. Go beers. This and um beers. That, that is not a medication. Don't confuse that. Whenever ya no se exhibiste. <laughs> ya no se exhibiste. <laughs> Whenever I have an stomachache, cuando me duele el estómago. What do I do? I take antacid. Antacid. So, I, I take I take take I 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 take Nay, no, no, no. I apply. I must go cream. Applic. Applicamos. Apply, ya está, mira. Aplico. I apple. I apply. Apply. Because we don't take, we don't drink, no tomamos. Aplicamos. So, aquí tengo más. Es que no mencionamos cuando tomamos. Common remedies. Terminemos este ejercicio. Vamos a tomar un minuto más. Don't worry. Uno más. We have the vocabulary. Look at this one. Chicken soup. Chicken soup. Sopa de pollo. Wow. This is a common remedy as well. So Chicken cold soap. medicine. Cough syrup. Ah, and this one. Chamomile tea. ¿Saben qué es esto? Chamomile tea. Té de manzanilla. Té de manzanilla. Té de manzanilla. Camomile. We have eye drops. Camomile. What is this one? Eye drops. Gotas para los ojos. Ajá. Gotas para los ojos. Nasal spray. Nasal spray. This one. El crema para muscular. No, es el spray para la nariz. Para la nariz. Cuando está tapada. Nasal oh. spray. Ice pack. Ah, sí. No, no le salen los mocos. Ice pack. Ice pack. Whenever you have a headache. Ok. Hielo. Hielo. Ice pack. Ice pack para la cabeza. Okay. Ice pack. So, whenever I. ¿Qué significaba entonces? Whenever I. Siempre, Siempre que, que. Cada que tengo. Cada que en cualquier tengo, momento. En cualquier momento. So, ese es el ejercicio pues de la plataforma. Tengo. Miren, solo esto les muestro. 
ejercicio de la plataforma, ustedes van a completar this knowledge check utilizando el vocabulario. Okay? No es ¿Cuánta nada... medicina hay que tomar? Sí, no es mucha, pero aquí está. Miren, call, stay, mm. don't go, don't drink. ¿Qué van a hacer? Dentista. Esta es otra recomendación. Call dentista. Miren. Take, call. Call. Call dentista. Llama a un doctor. Y así van a ver varias recomendaciones también que podemos hacer. Clase. Do I have questions about this? ¿Preguntas por este tema? Yes, no. No, no. Ok, si no, son, Monday, la, son las medicinas más comunes mencionadas. Sí, yes, these are common, common remedies. Son comunes, las más comunes. Son las comunes, como aquí la acetaminofén, una, una, una aspirina. Aspirina, sí. Que si, ¿cómo le dice si profloxacina? Dice. No, I don't. I'm not a doctor, so I'm sorry. I don't give prescriptions. I don't know. No, es que ellos ya van buscando la pastillita azul. No, come on. Ah, Dios. Aspirin, that's not. Qué bárbaro, César. So, el clofenaco, ¿qué más? Remember to complete the activities from the platform. ¿Cuándo nos vemos clase? On si no, Monday. Monday. Next Monday. Monday. Next Monday. Next Monday. 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 Next Monday. Monday. Next Monday. Have a great night. Friday and a great Monday weekend. night. Don't forget to practice your English. See you, class. Bye bye. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good bye. weekend. Bye. Have a good weekend. Adiós a todos, compañeros. Pasen buenas noches. Thank you. Buenas noches para todos. Good night, everybody.